Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sunshine Coast. My name is John Carl and I do 11.22 go before we kick off period number three. Joined right now by the president of the Sunshine Coast Minor Hockey Association. How are you doing tonight? Oh, great. Thanks very much. Awesome. Just a brief introduction maybe for the fans, if you don't mind. Yeah, no, my name's Adam Gibson. I just, uh, this is my first season as volunteering for the uh, president of the Sunshine Coast Minor Hockey. It's a uh, a uh, steep learning curve, but it's been incredible, and I'm coming into a, a, a push for a, a junior B team, so yeah, beyond exciting. What would you say has been one of the most difficult parts of your job so far? Well, the learning curve has been steep. Uh, you know, life uh, uh, got me in a position where I was able to contribute more, and uh, I've got a solid... Uh, uh, solid board of directors to help me out, and uh, uh, it's, it's been good. I, I don't always have the answer, but I, I, I've got a group of people that can help me. There you go. And you mentioned in your first answer about the Pacific Junior Hockey League and the potential of the Sunshine Coast getting a team. How excited are you for that possibility? You know what? It's, it's huge because, uh, you know, we're landlocked here. It's a ferry for everything, and the ice comes off in, in March there. And, and uh, for the kids to be able to... Uh, have ice longer throughout the season will be huge uh, for all the user groups from uh, minor hockey to the skating club to the adult leagues uh, and then having having a team for the uh, for everyone to cheer for um, uh, we Powell Rivers got a junior a team and uh, kids were hanging out this summer and the topic of what's your favorite team came up and the kids answer was the, the paper king so uh, the kids look up to the players we're excited of, of the op potential opportunity what have you thought about the game so far tonight and the game last night? Oh, the game last night was a, what a showcase game. You know, they, they, they pushed a lot of goals out and the fans were excited. Uh, tonight, it's, it was rough at the beginning and the fans got right into it. It's, here we are, tighter game. It's awesome. Just talk to me about the sense of anticipation in the community about potentially getting a team and how excited was the community to find out that this would be happening? Well, you know, they, uh, this group has, has tried a, a number of times, and this is certainly the closest they've been. And, and we don't have anything up here on a, on a Friday night at 6 o'clock, the tumbleweeds rolling down the street. So for having an event, a team like this where we can come out and support it, the, it'll be overwhelming. The support will be huge. And you mentioned you are the president of the Sunshine Coast Minor Hockey Association. How many teams do you have helping out right now? Uh, for tonight, we've got uh, we've got we got volunteers from uh, uh, throughout 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 the all the different age groups throughout the league helping out tonight, supporting, um, helping out in the box on the ice on ice events uh, in the concession uh, throughout the arena. Yeah, it's uh, the whole league's helping. One of the best things about junior hockey is that it truly brings the community together. We've seen that tonight. We've seen that last night as well. A great turnout here. You mentioned that your minor hockey teams getting involved they truly feed junior teams it's super important that you guys are out here supporting everybody and just talk to me maybe is there a potential plan with the minor hockey associations to get involved more if a potential team does come here oh if a team comes here you, you, you can bet on that uh, anything we can do to support them and, and vice versa just having that uh, the first step just having the ice on that much longer and the different programs we can run and the spring programs and the different training we can run uh, it's, it's exciting. Uh, the kids are getting their programs tonight and there's the insert with the players' photos and there's the lineups down the hall to get autographs. It, it's exciting. The Sunshine Coast Blues are the minor hockey team that play here. They are uh, helping out here as well. I spoke with one of the players last night about being able to be here and volunteer and, and watch these two junior teams on the ice. And one of the things that was clear to me when I talked to him was just the fact that there isn't a team on the Sunshine Coast with the same sort of talent, but the players on the ice and on the Sunshine Coast have that talent to be able to compete in the PGHL. How many players do you think the Sunshine Coast could produce for a junior team like this? Well, we, we've got a number of kids who have had to travel off coast and play for AAA teams and, and have had quite a bit of success playing for different universities and schools and, and elite programs. Uh, yeah, I it, for a small town and the small draw we have, we, we put out a lot, a lot of good hockey players. Very exciting stuff. If you could choose a team name for the Sunshine Coast, do you know what that might be? Oh, we got to go with the Blues. 
There you go. <laughs> we got it. Sticking <laughs> with the Sunshine Coast Blues. Absolutely. What about a uniform design? Have you guys thought about that? Well, we just got, we have a new design, a new logo that just introduced this year. Uh, you may have seen it in the broadcast on the ice. Uh, so we're excited about that, and it, uh, uh, it's good. Yeah, we'd love to see them be the Blues as well. Now, a lot of work has to get put into doing something like this. Just talk to me about the importance of guys like Stu Frizzell and Rick Hopper. Oh, so Stu, you know, unbelievable. He did this president's role for four years, and then he's, he, he bumped right into this. Uh, Rick, has, his resume hits the floor, uh, his hockey resume. And so he's been a, just an incredible help, uh, help to us. And uh, uh, Brenda Rose, you heard, no, she's got a banner hanging in this building about her commitment to, to, uh, to youth hockey. And uh, it's, it's exciting, and we got some very, very dedicated people helping out volunteers and that group that we just discussed those have been integral pieces to making this happen but so are the sponsors that have been able to fund this just talk to me about that support that's the thing you can have uh, all the volunteers but you need the backing and this community is unbelievable we had a couple teams last year in the season that were fortunate enough to make it to the provincials and in a very short window this community came together and raised a lot of money for them to help support their the, their travel and their expenses it's unbelievable my, my girls are in soccer they set up a fundraiser and they do very well the community uh, it, they support youth sports here, and it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's a $1,000 jackpot for the 50-50 tonight. It was $1,000 last night That's as right. well. Lots of people buying tickets. That's right. How many tickets have you guys sold? Uh, we, well, we haven't cu counted the, the till yet, but uh, it's pretty exciting that it can be $1,000 guaranteed, and that doesn't matter if we only sell $100 worth. So that's, again, to our sponsors for helping out to guarantee that. So, uh, yeah, I know it's... Uh, we're, 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 we're running hard there, getting, ripping tickets, selling tickets, so I expect a, a big, uh, big pot tonight. Talk to me about the importance about putting on an event like this. You guys have had it in the works for a very long time, but to be able to actually do it and to prove to your community that this is what you guys want, I'm sure it means a lot to you guys. Oh, it's unbelievable. You know, it, uh, back to the volunteers. Talk's cheap. We talk all day, but they're actually uh, grab the bull by the horns. And there's a lot of moving parts involved to, for something like this to happen. And uh, just, for, just for two games to get here, all the logistics for it to happen, uh, they pulled it off. And, it, you know, the place is packed. Uh, people are having fun. Exciting. A number of players in the game tonight playing... Close to home, all from North Vancouver or Chilliwack. So it's very exciting stuff for them to come on here. I've been close with both teams so far this weekend. They've both spoken about how excited they are to be here and how cool it is to be playing in a venue like this. You know, it's, it's been a great turnout tonight. Yeah, yeah, it really is. And having North Van, obviously, they're, they're the closest to us. It's exciting. And Chilliwack, they, they, you know, it's, it's high-level hockey. They, the guys look great out there, and the fans are excited.